Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to build a pickup winder for as cheap as possible. Real quickly, in the most basic terms, let's go over what a pickup is. A pickup is the part of the electric guitar that turns the wiggly strings into music. There are about a million different configurations, but for the average bog standard pickup, it's typically made up of a central plastic bobbin with metallic pole pieces, one for each string, six for a guitar and four for a bass guitar. Very thin copper wire is then wrapped around the bobbin and poles, typically around 10,000 times. A pickup winder is used to wrap the wire around the bobbin in a controlled manner. It also keeps track of how many times the wire has been wrapped around the bobbin. You could do that without a pickup winder, but it would A, take forever, and B, suck. We're going to start in the place we always start, the parts list. The heart of this pickup winder is this small 12 volt, 1200 RPM DC motor. It's a gear motor, so it should have more than enough torque to run this thing. From what I have found, 1200 RPM is about the maximum speed you want to use. Otherwise, you can risk snapping wires. Also, it should still be able to wind a pickup in a reasonable time frame, say less than 10 minutes. Next, we have an LCD screen. This one has the I2C board on it. I chose this because it uses less pins and doesn't need extra components. A 10 kilo ohm pot. This will control the speed of the motor. A switch. This will control power to the motor, making an easy on-off switch, so you can start the motor, get it to a speed you want, stop it, make small adjustments, and resume speed without having to fiddle around with the pot. The brains of this operation are an Arduino Uno. This is designed around the Uno because it can intake 12 volts and provide a 5 volt output for the other components. A read switch to count the revolutions of the pickup. This will keep track of how many times we've wound the wire around it. To go along with the reed switch, I will be using a small neodymium magnet. I've also used a few other electrical components, including a MOSFET, a few resistors, and a diode. If you got one of those Arduino starter kits in high school or college and have just kept it around bouncing from place to place, you probably have several of the components already. Finally, a 12 volt power supply. This one comes with a small barrel jack with screw terminals, and I'll be using that for power. I'll also be using this hardware kit. It has both M2 and M3 screws. Blame the boards for having different size mounting holes. Not me. I would have liked to use the same hardware everywhere. I also designed and printed a case to hold everything. I printed it out in PETG because I like this silver color, but you could totally do this in PLA and it should work just fine. The case has mounting positions for all of the different components. There are some design issues with my initial case design. I didn't feel like reprinting every minor change that I was making. You'll see some modifications I make to the case, but I've made modifications in the model that will be present in the one I upload. For each pickup winder, that brings the total to about $37. I guess this cost also assumes you have a 3D printer or access to a 3D printer. I did opt to buy several things in multiples, so you'll have parts left over for a future project. Assembly time. I screwed in all the parts and taped a small breadboard to the inside. Eventually I plan to replace this with the proto board, but as this is still a project, might as well leave it flexible for now. I then wired up all of the components. I put a circuit diagram up on the Instructable. The potentiometer and the switch both have a registration notch on them that keeps them from twisting or rotating while they're in place. I didn't leave places for them in the model, so I just removed both of those registration notches before screwing them in place. When mounting the motor in place, make sure to either use a lock nut if you have one, but two nuts up against each other on the screw, or use a little bit of Loctite if you have it. Otherwise, those screws will come loose. Ask me how I know. I seated the magnet and the reed switch using E6000. I think hot glue would also probably work. You might notice something different about this now. 
It's because I killed the first Arduino. Whoops. I did find the best way to write code ever. Convince a friend that wants a hand-wound pickup who also knows how to program to write good code for you. But anyway, I uploaded that code, and here it is. Screen up out the front. Below that, the pot, the potentiometer for speed control, as well as the on-off switch. I put the motor on the right side, but I did put holes for everything on the left side if you would rather put it over there. And this out here is a wire guide. I don't know if it's obvious, but I have no idea how to hand wind a pickup. So I'm just using what I had accessible to me, which is 42 gauge wire, a 3D printed bobbin, and some pole pieces from an old guitar. I don't know if this will be the best pickup I've ever heard, but for a first one, I might as well start with the cheap stuff, right? It'll probably be fine. We'll see. This base pickup came out with 9,000 wraps, and it ohms in at just about 7 kilo ohms. With that wound, I'm going to give it to my friend and see what it sounds like. Here's a sound test with this hand wound pickup. This was one of those projects where as I was building it, I started noticing some things that I didn't super love. So I do fully intend to make a version two of this. Okay, bye.